Hey, hey, my Be Free family. For the next several weeks, I am having the most inspiring conversations with members of the Be Free Inner Circle. And what makes these interviews so special and amazing is because every single woman that I'm interviewing, she's been a part of the Be Free Inner Circle for a year or greater. So she's going to share her wins, what doing the work really looks like for her, why being in a community specifically for women of color is so important, and so much more. So grab your pen and notebooks because there's going to be so many gems you're going to want to write down. And now enjoy the episode. Hey, 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 welcome back to the Be Free Project podcast. And I am back with yet another interview with a very special member inside the Be Free Inner Circle. And her name is Keisha White. Hey, Keisha. Hi. And I wanted to bring her on today because as you know, I've been sharing stories from members who members who are in the Be Free Inner Circle who have been in the community for a year or greater to really share their experience. And so Keisha, I just looked this up right before our call and you have been a member since February 8th, 2019. And I'm like, I didn't even know, right? And so I'm, I'm like, it's- Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I have because I have my whole little database jazz going on. And I'm like, wow, it's been well over two years since you've been in the community. And as we were talking before um, I press record, like I've seen so much growth in you over the time period. I mean, even the way that you share, um, ask questions and all the things that I've noticed how you blossomed over the years. And so I want to get started with asking you, can you share some of the wins that you've experienced since being a member of the Be Free Inner Circle? Sure. Um, Let me think. I definitely feel like I have grown. Mm-hmm. You know, it feels like it's been longer since 2019, but <laughs> but it feels good. Um, I definitely feel more comfortable sharing. Like that was something that, you know, I probably wouldn't have done in the past. It, it took me a, a little while to get comfortable. But once I opened up, I felt like that's when I really got the real experience mm-hmm. of the community. Um, other wins, just connecting with like-minded women. Yeah. Um, you know, they really, really do embrace you. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh, what else? I would say just becoming more of myself. And when I say that, like, the more I shared, the more I opened up, um, the more I felt safe to just share, like, who I am, you know, at the core um, and be my authentic self. Mm-hmm. And I didn't feel like I had to hold back anything. So. Yeah. And do you think with having a space of being able to open up and to share and you feel in that embrace, do you think it's something special about the community being women of color? Um, Because if you think about other spaces that we have to walk in on a day-to-day basis where you can go in rooms and you're the only one there, right? Mm -hmm. And so having a community, a virtual community um, where it's nothing but women of color, is that important for you um, as you think about like the safety um, and the comfort of sharing? Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's another thing that drew me in, you know, just being around like your sisters. Yeah. Um, it, it just feels comfortable. It feels more natural. I'm not saying that I can't have relationships, you know, with other women outside of my race, but it's just something it, it just feels comforting. You know, yeah. I know that they can relate to a lot of things that I've gone through. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. I think that's one of the things that makes the Be Free Inner Circle very special is that it's for us. Right. And so some of the things that you can't say in other spaces is like, oh, I can say that here and I'm not going to be judged for it. Or I know that this other woman of color can identify because she, too, is facing whether it's in her personal life or her professional life, like she can actually relate. Um, one win that you did not mention that I'm like, hey, your coffee subscription business. like oh, yes, that, yes, that was coming. <laughs> yes. OK, OK, OK. I'll let you talk but, about it. Definitely. I feel like it. Um, like I always felt like great when I talked about coffee, but when I started talking about it more and more, I just like, it just felt good. It felt natural. Mm-hmm. I, I just felt like, um, like I felt lit up, yes. <laughs> you know, yes. and that helped me like I think about some of the other ideas I've had in the past. I had this subscription box idea for a while. I would think about it and I'm like, no, oh, you know, but it really just, you know, being around women, seeing them like just working on themselves, developing their goals and going after it. It made me say, you know what, I can do this subscription. Yeah. And then getting on your coaching calls and like it just felt natural, like, OK, I could do this. I have support around me. Mm-hmm. People believe in me. Yep. So 
Yeah, I, that was a major win, um, starting the subscription box, which yeah, is amazing. I, I'm still learning, but like I, I feel great. I really mm. do. And I can even see a different light in your eyes, like because I pay attention to all of the members, right? And just being a community cultivator, like it's just a part of it. And so I can even see from the beginning when you join the community and even how you become even more confident within yourself um, and sharing. And even I remember the first call we had about the co- um, the coffee subscription mm-hmm. and you were te- you were in tears, like because it. I think the question that I asked was, what is your biggest wildest dream and you have first shared how there was something else that you wanted to do but it wasn't what you wanted to do but because you had talked about it for so long it was almost expected of you and I was like well Keisha what do you really want and I remember the tears yes and when you said it out loud to your point like you feel lit up like I lit up I'm like oh wait Whoa, like I didn't even know. But the moment you said, I could feel that it was your truth. Like I could feel that, oh yeah. And plus we talk about coffee all the time in the community. So it felt very natural hearing you say it. And immediately I'm like, oh, how do I help? Where do I get in to support? Whether that's giving you resources, making connections, or even just encouraging you that you can do it. Because oftentimes women just need someone to say, I believe in you. Yes. And that's why I'm now like um, leaning into being people's cheerleader because so mm-hmm. many of us don't have someone in our corner that says, I believe in you. We have dream killers, but not having someone that actually says, you know, not only do I believe in you, but I'm going to support you. Right. And I'm going to give you some tools because you did give me some and I was mm-hmm. running because I know exactly what I was thinking on that day. I was just like, um, you know, maybe like I just, I just didn't see it achievable. Like, yeah. you know, like I'm not going to say that, you know, I need to be doing something else because I, it was, I was going to do the childcare, mm-hmm. some kind of childcare business because people have told me, you know, you'd be good at it. Yeah. You like kids, all this stuff. And I knew that in my heart, like that was not, that was not my biggest dream, but I was going to pursue it because it just, it sounded good, you mm-hmm. know, I'd be good at it. But the coffee thing, like any kind of conversation I had about coffee, it just just did something to me. And when when we were on that call and I said it out loud and like the support and just like it just overwhelmed me in that moment. I'm like, you know, like maybe I can do this, mm-hmm, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm, and it mm-hmm. felt good to put it out there, you know, so. Yeah. I'm thankful for that. And then you gave me some tools and I was mm-hmm. writing them down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, I, I I know I did everything. I did. I, I pushed myself yeah. <laughs> to do it because I'm like, well, Siobhan said this is what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And, and you, you know, know I'm going to ask. Uh-huh. And, 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 and that's and right. I knew. Yep, yep. yep. I knew he was going to ask. Yeah. And every time, like, and that's one of my gifts is to hold people accountable. So now that, and because I could see something different in your eyes when you said it out loud, I'm like, oh, this is something. We're not overlooking this or this is not just something she said. No, 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 no. This is something that was tapping on your heart. And because I was able to feel it, I'm like, oh accountability, I'm on it. Like I just, you know, and so every time you show up to the cause, I'm like, okay, where are we? What can I do to support? And something that you said that stood out to me is that um, because your first idea was childcare and it was because people thought that that would be good for you. And so you went along with it, but many of us don't have someone in our corner to say, what do you really want? Yeah. Like not what you thought you wanted or not what you've been told that you wanted, but what is it that you really want? And so many women that I talk to on a day-to-day basis, like what they really want is stuck in their throat. Like they can't speak it out loud. And if they do, it's like, oh no, if I if I put this out there, now what? But I feel like the Be Free Inner Circle is that now what? So then that way I'm like, oh, this is what you need. This is encouragement. This is inspiration. And not only getting that from me, but also getting that from the members that you get every day. So I love that. I love that. I I love that you had the courage enough to say it out loud and then not only have the courage, but then take it a step further and put in the steps and move at your own pace. You know? Yeah. Yes. You know what also comes to mind? (laughs) That I, I felt heard. I felt mm-hmm. heard by you, by the women on the call, the community. Um, Miss Denise, she sent me a journal just out of the blue. I got it right here. <laughs> and she wrote a little message, you know, about, you know, my coffee shop. And I'm just like, 
oh, these women, like they hear me, they see me. That's and, huge. Like, that's amazing to have that. It's huge. And I didn't even know Miss Denise did that. Like, that is just a huge thing of, and it just goes back to what I talk about all the time, like the support that we get within the community. Um, Because it's like, no, I I really feel like it's this magical place, like this positive bubble. That bird is so loud. Do you hear that bird? It's like (laughs) the loudest bird right now. Um, But I love that she did that. So my next question for you is, how did you know you needed support with doing the work? And this is to help you kind of go back to when you joined in 2019. Like, how did you know, okay, I need help with doing the work? I think that I knew... I knew I needed something else. I knew I felt like I knew I was not not going to get it at, the, at my job, my current job. I felt this need to just surround myself with, with positive, I guess, reinforcement. Things that I know were going to help grow me, stretch me. And this was right in line with that. So I had, um, I had been following you for a while, I think, at that point. I, I know you had the Facebook group. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Been, yeah. And like just something about Everything um, that you were saying, you were doing just resonated with me. And I'm like, you know, I, I need this right now. Like I felt, I felt stuck. I felt like, um, like, like I really didn't have anybody that could really relate to where I was at. And I needed some, something to push me out of the, the little box that I have put myself in, you know, that comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So. And so knowing that you felt stuck at the time and knowing that you needed to be around someone that could relate, like, how did you know to choose to be free inner circle? It just felt natural. I think that um, going back to, like, to the Facebook group, mm-hmm. just the, the ladies that I, um, that I came across and everything, but everybody was so positive, so supportive. Um, it just felt good. It felt, it felt right. Mm-hmm. And I think that, um, you know, now looking back, like, I feel like I knew that it would help me to get to where I wanted to be. Like, Mm -hmm. I I saw you, I saw your, your journey as well, you know, and even, even at that time, I I was just watching you, progress you made and and the effect you had on people. I was like, that's, you know, it's almost magnetic. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's, that's what. Yeah. I never heard that before. Um, that, my energy is magnetic, but I can see that. And that's one of the things that like, I'm very intentional about sharing my journey and how I'm growing because it's work. It is a lot of work, both personally and professionally. And I don't know of many people who are sharing in real time. And so as I'm learning, I'm like, Oh, I got to share this with people because I wonder if you don't know this. And I, re- I was sharing this on another podcast interview. Like one of the things is that when I first started my journey nine years ago, I was very lonely. Like I did not have community. I did not have all of the access and resources that I have now. I did not have that. And I'm like, whenever I do something, I need to make sure that I build community around it. Now I was using different language, but I really want to be in a space like, cause I'm like, I don't want people to ever feel lonely or isolated on this journey. And because I know what that feels like. And so to be able to cultivate a community first on Facebook, which was great. Um, one of the things that made me close the group was because I just, you know, I'm all about action and accountability. And I'm like, yo, we got to shift this because I'm showing up and I wasn't getting what I wanted as it relates to seeing people really take the work seriously. And so that is what pushed me to switch over to Mighty Networks to build the Be Free Inner Circle. Because I'm like, I only want to work with women who are ready to do the work. And you are a perfect example of that because you've been committed to doing it for so long, which I feel like two years is not a long time, but it is a long time, you know? Uh, Yeah, you know? And to be able to see the progress. And so I'm glad that you found me when you did and that to your point, my energy was magnetic where you could see that I was someone that you could know, like, and trust who was doing the work that could be an example to support you in doing that. I love that. what would you say is your feature, excuse me, what would you say is your favorite feature about the Be Free Inner Circle, whether it's the live chats that we have weekly, um, mm-hmm. the, um, the teams, where it's the more intimate groups, the community support, guest speakers, daily inspiration, like what would you say is some of, are some of your favorite features? I would say the, um, the live chats, definitely. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I always get on. And when I get on, I'm like, all right, let me hurry up. 
get get myself together. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I'm rushing and, I'm, and I always it always seems like I have something that, something to do afterwards. And I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, I'm doing real quick, but I can't get off that call once I'm yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. So um, the community support, of course, like that is hands down. Yeah, I don't know another community. <laughs> like, I, I know, um, right? It's just everything. But I would say the live chats, the community support, um, the book chat, mm-hmm. you know, us chatting about books that uh, that I would read anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nine out of ten, um, I, I love that. Uh, yeah, I pretty much love everything. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Those are my top three. Yeah, and you know what's so funny? Like it seems like every single person I've interviewed thus far, the weekly live chats is their favorite thing, which mm-hmm. actually is my favorite thing because I love to talk. Hence, why we're on this podcast <laughs> today. And I remember because you've been in the community for a while, so there's been many shifts. And one of the things that I was like, you know, I love to talk and I love to teach and I want to show up more often. So that's why I committed to coming live via Zoom inside our community every week with a different topic that we have, because I'm like, that's how I want to do it. And I know that there's other membership spaces where You never see the founder. You never see them at all. You never connect with them. Or if you do, it's a conference call or maybe they pop up once a month. And so one of the things that I pride myself on is like, I'm number one, I'm in there throughout the day, like connecting with everyone. But then also the weekly live chats, because I think it's very important that you hear from me and not just me, but it's a great way to see the other women in the community and to connect with them and put a, Mm -hmm. um, a voice with their picture and their name or whatever. So that's one of my favorite things as well. And I think it also helps create intimacy in the community, which is really important. Yeah, it, it really does. Because I would say before I started going on, like in the beginning, I was I was scared to get on those live chats. I was like, I'm not getting on those Zoom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not. And when I started getting on there, it definitely created um, a sense of intimacy and just like like you you get that personal interaction. Yeah. Yep. And and which made me be more active in mm-hmm. in the community. Yeah. So um, definitely the live chats. Once you start going on in the live chats, like you 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 feel opened up and you mm-hmm. feel con- a sense of connection. Yeah. Because you can see that other women in the community are going through something similar and yep. then and you can feel like you're not alone. And then this too, like people don't always have to have their camera on. Right. So you can even just have your camera off because many times people are cooking. They are getting the kids together. You know, they're doing all the things, but yet they're still tuned in. And I love that. Like, however you want to show up, you get to show up. Um, and even if you come a few minutes late, like you always are going, in my opinion, you're always going to walk away with something, whether it's something that I said or that you heard something from another member, you're like, oh, I didn't think about it that way. That is good information, you know? Absolutely. And then I want to talk about, because I know you are one of the members who have intentionally built friendships. And this wasn't a question that I had listed for you, but I've noticed that over time you've been building real friendships. And so that's something that I speak about often with the Be Free Inner Circle is how it's your space to find your forever friends. And I intentionally created and cultivate the community to be around that because I have amazing friends in my life. And I'm like, if these friends feel like home, I want everybody to feel like that. And so I shifted, you know, I think maybe late last year, early this year, like that will be the intention to find your forever friends and also me be your biggest cheerleader and give you accountability with doing the work. So as it relates to friendships, how has that making friends inside the Be Free Inner Circle impacted your life and how do you feel? Uh, It it feels amazing because I've never, like, I have some really, really great friends that are not in the community, but it's different because inside the community, like you said, it's been intentional. Yeah. Like, I've never intentionally built a friendship, and it, it's work, but it's worth it. Um, yeah, I've built some really, really great friendships who we, we talk every day. Yeah. You know, we meet, we have a weekly Zoom chat. Oh. Um, yeah, we've met up, and now you know one of one of my good friends <laughs> in the community. Mm-hmm. Like we said, we're going to try and get together because um, we're not in the same state. At least, at least every three to four months. That's yeah. that's that's our goal. You know, with this COVID, you don't know, but mm-hmm. yes. um, yeah, it's just been um, it's it's a different kind of, I guess, friendship. It's mm-hmm. it's um, it's intimate. Like yeah. Yeah, I don't even have all the words to describe, but it's definitely um, 
it's just something that I've never done before to just intentionally build a relationship based on what I need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm asking her, you know, also like, what do you need from me? What can I do? How can I support you? Mm -hmm. Um, It's, it's different and it's amazing because, um, it's a different kind of connection. Yeah. And I think what's beautiful is y'all are both under the same teaching, if you will. And so as I talk about friendship in the community, like you both are hearing it, right? And you're like, oh, so even that's so valuable because that's something that I'll ask my friends, what do you need? How can I support you? And that's how you build real connection versus just feeling like your friend is just supposed to know all these things. And then you're someone else who has actually traveled to other states, like um, to meet up with friends, which I think is so dope and that you meet inside the Be Free Inner Circle and then you're able to take your relationship, your friendship offline and like connect in real life. I think that's really, really good. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. And uh, like now, like I can't imagine not having them in my life. Like, it's, Yeah. Uh, that warms my heart. <laughs> this won't happen. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. So what's one reason that you feel that other women need to join the Be Free Inner Circle? Um, I feel like every woman needs this safe space where they can just open up and grow. I think that there's something to be said about women of com- color coming together mm-hmm. like and connecting. The world and social media likes to tell the story that we can't get along, but you, you know, you know, we can, <laughs> we do, mm-hmm. and we have amazing relationships. So I think that, I think every woman should, should experience this mm-hmm. and allow themselves to be open to you know, different perspectives and, yeah. and allowing somebody to, to love on you and to, um, to just embrace you wherever you are on mm-hmm. your journey. I love that. I love that. And so my final question for you is, what would you say to the woman who says she can't afford the Be Free Inner Circle? And the reason that I ask that question is because that's something that comes up. And so from a member's perspective, I mean, I can talk till I'm blue in the face about all the reasons why, but from a member's perspective, what would be your response to that? My response would be, you're, you're worth the investment. Like, it's definitely an investment once you get in and you're committed to just growing and healing and being your authentic self, like you won't even think about the money. Yeah. I don't even think about it. Like, yeah. honestly, it's just, this is part of my, my life. Mm. <laughs> it's part of my life. It's, it's some, something that I, I want and I, I like to have in my life right now. And, you know, we invest in all kinds of things every day. So you really got to choose what's going to benefit you. What's going to grow you and what's worth it. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't agree more. I love it. I love it. So are there any final words you would love to leave with the audience? Anything else you want to share before we log off? I think that that you create a space, like I said before, that's just like, like you said, you like to think of it as magical. It is magical. <laughs> it is something yeah. that I haven't had a bad experience I've had some you know ups and downs that have come in my life and just things I've gone through but like joining this community was never anything that I regretted um in fact there are times where I'm like oh I didn't I need to get involved I need I missed this week's call I need to get in there I like I miss it when I'm not involved you know when life gets in the way so um yeah, I just want to thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, it's been amazing even to watch, you know, your journey, like I said, these past couple years. So I want to support you as well. Aww, <laughs> thank you, Keisha. I love that. Thank you. And you're coming to Cleveland. Oh, yes. Now, would this be your first time coming to Cleveland? It is. It is. I just booked my flight yesterday. Yay! I'm so <laughs> excited. Oh, I cannot I'm wait to have you. I cannot wait. Yes, um, yes. It's going to be great. Are you staying for the whole weekend or are you yeah. coming in? Yay. So there's many members who are coming. So hopefully y'all yeah. can connect in real life and do a whole thing, but it's going to be amazing. I'm excited to meet you and like so many other members who are coming from all these different states. I'm like, y'all are blowing my mind right now. Like oh it's what I've always hoped for, 
But that's the beauty of like stepping outside of your comfort zone and just kind of doing that thing and then watching everything unfold. Mm -hmm. Um, And then to your point, it is a magical space. It it really is. And that's why I wanted to have these conversations because, and I did a podcast interview on this topic, like safe spaces for women do exist. But if you never experience it, you're like, oh, she's just talking. Oh, no, 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 no. You've heard it from yourself. And there's so many other members who are coming on to share their journeys where no, it's really a place that, you get your cup filled. And one other thing that you mentioned as like your life gets busy and sometimes you can't always be in there. That's another thing that I love that it's very self-paced that you can catch the replays or you can pop in once a week or once a month, whatever works for you. And each time nobody is like, hey, where you been? They're like, oh, hey girl, let's get it in. And you keep on pushing. So I love that. I love that too. I love that, yeah. Going back for, to the meetup, like I knew, I wanted to go for it right before the pandemic hit, I mm-hmm. think. I had one and I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Yeah. And then everything hit. I said that next time she has an event, like I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be first at midnight. I was up. You looking, were? <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna she this ain't gonna sell out before I get my ticket. Yes, and you were the first one to purchase your ticket. And it sold out in two weeks, which I have never done that before. So that just it helps me realize that women are searching for something, whether it's in person or virtual, they're searching for a space to connect. And I love that I've been able to, cause that's how the Be Free Inner Circle got started, where I took what I was doing in person and just made it virtual so women from all over could experience that. But there is something like being in person that you will experience once we meet um, in a couple of weeks that is, it's just, I'm going to be on a hundred. I mean, you already know I'm on a hundred in a community. So I will be on a thousand in real life because I've been waiting for this. And we've been in this pandemic since what March of last year. And now that we are in some space, I'm like, all right, let's do it. So I cannot wait. I'm, I'm, I'm so ready. Yeah. So it's going to be great. It's going to be really fun. Yay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Keisha, thank so you. much for carving out time to chat with me today. Um, it warms my heart to have you as a member of the community. And just like I said in the beginning, to be able to see your growth, like that just warms all the pieces of my heart that I could see where you started and see where you're at today and then continue to see you grow and knowing that I'm a part of it. Like just warms my heart so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I mentioned, I will make sure that I link to your Instagram page and um, anything else in the show notes. So people that are listening can connect with you. And until next time, girl, be free. I hope you enjoyed that amazing interview. And now I want to personally invite you to join the be free inner circle waitlist. That's right. The doors are currently closed. However, I want you to head over to BeFreeInnerCircle.com, add your name and email address to the list, and when the doors open, you will be the first to know. This will be your last chance to become a member this year. So again, go to BeFreeInnerCircle.com so you don't miss out.